Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So today Colette came out I think that's how you pronounce her name and I think she's a really good brawl now you guys see I have 72 total trophies with her I haven't been doing showdown or anything because I feel like she'd be really bad at showdown um, And I've been doing some like kind of high ladder So I've been playing with 500 teammates just to kind of test it against players who you know Who are pretty good at the game who aren't new to the game or have very low brawlers You know I want to face kind of good players to kind of test out how Colette is going to be and I actually think she's going to be pretty good Now she has just you know average stats, but I believe with the right team compositions that she can be really really good now we might go into that in a further or later youtube video but what we're going to be doing today is just showing you guys the base impressions that we have of the new brawler rating it out of one to ten and telling you guys where she is going to be op so with that being said let's hop into some games and let's get going so hopping into the first game here we're going to be going up against jesse spike and poco so already those are like three brawlers that we aren't that great against specifically the jesse and jesse turret um is colette not very good against um, with the gadget, so I have a maxed out Colette, I don't know if you guys do, but with the gadget what you guys want to do is definitely save it as your last shot to kill. So I believe 40% of like the, you know, 4.4 thousand HP that you have is somewhere around like 1400 or something like that, a little bit above 1400, I don't really know. But you want to be saving that for your final kill shot, so on this shot, on the spike right here, that's going to be able to get the kill even though we got hit. And that's how you want to use it, so you guys know it's really difficult to kill brawlers or finish off those brawlers that's what you guys want to be using your gadget for you just work them down with regular shots and then you try and maintain your hp and finish them off with your gadget shot so you do want to kind of just like try and take one shot at everybody you don't want to just continuously shoot the same brawler over and over because you know you're going to be doing less damage it's not going to be as much value as you could be getting so i would definitely recommend you know focusing on different brawlers not just the same one the entire time now this turret's like probably literally impossible for me to take out so i'm not even going to focus it um but you know it's pretty easy actually to play this brawler you can auto aim with it pretty easily as well which is really good for a lot of people um we like literally we can't finish this thing good thing that we have teammates to finish it for us um but you guys can see i'm focusing on different brawlers here i'm not just shooting one because to get maximum value you want to shoot brawlers that have some form of hp your super is also another really good way of finishing players so as you guys can see that jesse was low i just used that super over there it's really easy to hit also with auto aim you don't really need to aim it that much uh, so that's obviously a good sign. We're able to finish off that Poco over there with it. And again, you know, you just want to continuously work out, uh, work down opponents that, you know, are high in HP, not really that are low. So us focusing the spike, because you guys have noticed we haven't really focused the spike. It doesn't really do anything. Um, we can't really kill a spike. It's pretty hard for us to, but this Poco, we can get it down really low, really easily. Just two shots and it's already half health. Um, and we could kill it pretty easily once we use our gadget. We didn't use it there. We probably should have. We can get that first hit on the spike because it'll get it pretty low. But besides that, our shots are pretty useless against it. We don't want to use our gadget here because we don't have too much HP. But AK Pekka is just absolutely just, you know, running through these guys. So that's kind of insane. We have our super. So maybe we'll do like a try a little trick shot. Actually, they're spawning so we can try something else. I don't know. Um, oh, there's, there's nothing really we can do, is there? I guess we're just going to bounce back and forth. But yeah, that's going to be it for the first game. So you guys can see, you know, this isn't really the greatest matchup for Colette. So what happens when you get this is you kind of just want to find their highest HP and try and take that out. But at the same time, you guys want to work on all three of your opponents instead of just focusing one or laning one. So with that being said, let's hop into the next game and let's keep things going. Okay, so here we go into our next game over here. So we're going to be going up against a BB who I guess we're pretty decent up against. Um, I don't think we're necessarily fantastic or great, but I'd say we're pretty good. Um, and we're also going up against the Carl Namortis. So three brawlers that are kind of like mid HP brawlers So we're gonna have a pretty good job and pretty easy time against these guys You just want to keep your range now This isn't really an ideal map to play this brawler on since it's so open um, And you guys are not open sorry since it's not open at all and you guys want you know more of an open map You don't want that many walls since you have a long very fast shot um, It's pretty easy to take down opponents and get them low. Oh, we messed that up pretty bad Come on, stay alive. We're not going to be able to take this guy out, are we? Oh, we're able to stay alive, actually. The super actually is pretty good value. If we learn how to use it correctly, which over time, you know, you learn things about brawlers. Nobody knows how to play a brawler perfectly the first day. People see different plays and, you know, figure out what's OP to do with the brawler. We're going to learn how to play it. And I'm sure this brawler is going to have a lot of OP things that we don't know about yet that we're going to be able to do shortly. But, you know, we're just absolutely dominating fudge was a little bit late with that super to say the least but i mean he got the kill so it doesn't really matter and we're going to be able to get that goal um but you know we're going to continue over here a minute and 20 seconds left in this game we're doing pretty well 
Um, I'm gonna use my super over here. Gonna not be able to get the kill. And again, we couldn't use that gadget because we were low in HP. And we had like 700 uh, damage or HP, sorry. And 40% of that, I don't know what it is. It's like 300 or something. That's not gonna be enough to get a kill. We can use it over here on the BB though. We're gonna miss that shot though, unfortunately. That kind of sucks. We're gonna try and keep it as low as possible. Just gonna try and continuously hit it with shots. Unfortunately, it did use gadget, so it's gonna heal up, but we should be fine. Gonna try and hit this Mortis over here, and I'm gonna be able to hit the BB as well, actually. Uh, Mortis looks like it's gonna be able to get a kill. Not gonna be able to, actually. So things are actually going really well, but yeah, this Brawler's pretty good, to be honest. You can just kinda, you just gotta keep your range more or less, and you should be fine. Um, and the gadget's just really good for finishing off those Brawlers, so you always have that, you know, going for you. We're gonna be able to get a kill over there. Let's try a trick shot. Not gonna work, but I guess we're gonna get the ball right back to each other. We're gonna score another goal. Now we've played enough of Brawl Ball. Let's hop into another mode and try it out there. So let's hop into it and let's see what happens. All right, so here we go into our next game. Now we're gonna be trying Heist. Now I don't think this Brawler is gonna be very good in Heist, but we'll see what happens. I think it's gonna be pretty decent against like tanks. So you're gonna kind of just be the defense on your team. Uh, where is their primo? Maybe over here. Yep, found it. Gonna give Pekka that really easy kill. And I guess we can just try and hold on to this mid over here and try and lock it down but our goal is probably going to be to just stay on that primo as much as we can i guess we can try an auto aim battle i don't think that's going to go very well for us so we're going to try and you know just get away from that uh this guy's right here we kind of waste we did we do eight damage i think we just did eight damage we had 22 health i think that's the lowest damage i've ever seen anything ever before do eight damage that's kind of crazy but uh looks like fudge is going to get run up on over there i'm going to try and defend to the best of my ability uh we should be able to get that kill we are going to be able to and we should be able to take out this primo pretty easily actually now can i take this out is the question i don't think i can to be honest we're going to try and distract it oh my god all right enough of that let's get that out of the way oh no there's a jesse here so we really just can't take out turrets can we Taking out turrets is just not happening. Oh my god, this is really rough. Okay, so as you guys can see, this brawler has very clear strengths and very clear weaknesses. And it's totally dependent on situation. And completely out of your control if this brawler is going to be effective or not. If we're facing a triple tank comp, which is very possible, we're going to absolutely run through our opponents. But if we're facing a double turret comp like we just did, we're going to get absolutely, literally pooped on. So let's go into one other game, one other mode, and let's see what we can do there. And I'm gonna give you guys my ratings and my overall thoughts of the brawler after that. So let's get into it and let's see what happens. All right, so here we go into our gem game. We're gonna be going up against a turreted brawler. So that scary looking Jesse over there. And we're gonna be going up against a Poco, which I think we do pretty well against, to be honest. And a Mortis. Okay, so not a terrible team comp for us to face to be 100% honest. Oh, that's actually a really good super we're gonna get over there. We're probably gonna be able to finish two. No, only one. Um, but still a pretty good super for the value. You know, I'm kind of scared of this Jesse. Poco, I think that we actually do a really good job against, but Jesse obviously could be a very big weakness of ours. Um, there is a more over here. Fudge is gonna pull that more. I'm just gonna try and run away. This guy isn't gonna shoot up because he's not expecting me to go up. We're gonna be able to get that kill. And now we got five gems, so things are looking pretty good. I think we can go back and forth over here and just steal some gems. Oh, that might not have been the best idea. Oh my god, we're alive. Okay. That's actually a really cool way to get late game gems, which is actually like something that's very important nowadays, um, is being able to just jump in kind of and get a gem at the very end of a game. When you have nine and you don't want to die, you can just kind of go in there, grab one really quickly and go back out. That's pretty cool. Let me see if I can show you guys an example of that. Um, all right. Maybe we die actually. We might actually die. Okay, we're going to die. Hopefully, Fudge hits that pole. Fudge is a god. He's going to be able to hit it. Uh, let's see if we can go up the middle. I'm able to hit it twice, and Pekka's going to be able to finish it off and get the kill. I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything here, though. I don't think so. Mortis is a very big hard counter to this brawler for sure. So this is going to be a little bit tough. Um, not going to be able to do anything there. Wow. This is going to be kind of hard. Oh! Oh, Fudge almost got it. Okay, but that is going to end the video and that's going to end the game. So now it's time for my honest review of the Brawler. And this is what I'm honestly going to say. I think it's a really strange and really unique Brawler. So props to Supercell for actually making a totally, totally unique Brawler that we've never seen before. With stat lines that we've never seen before. But it is really weak against the current meta. So if you're facing a Mr. P, a Nita, a, any type of spawnable, any type of turret, any type of anything... 
this brawler is going to get hard countered. If you're facing a Mortis, this brawler is going to get hard countered. If you're facing any assassination type brawler, you're going to get hard countered like a Crow or a Daryl. Even though Daryl is a tank, once it's on you, you can't do anything about it. And I think it's going to be really difficult to push with this brawler. I don't think it's going to be viable and competitive yet. But at the same time, if you're facing like triple tank and you know you are. This could actually be a really useful brawler. It does have the range, so it could be OP. And maybe with a few slight buffs, this could actually become one of the better brawlers in the game. But right now, I think it just gets countered by too many things. Kind of like Shelly, where it can be very OP in some situations. But it just gets hard countered way too often for it to be able to be viable in a lot of different places. So that's going to be it for my video. I'm going to rate this brawler a solid, you know... 3 out of 10 for how good it is right now, but the uniqueness of the brawler, the look of the brawler, you know, everything around it is definitely like a 9 out of 10 outside of, you know, how actually good it is, but that's going to be it for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be back tomorrow with some more content, so I will see you guys then. Peace.